G'day Diwa fans and welcome to another Diwa Tech Tip. Today we are talking rods and specifically how to choose the right one. When choosing a rod there's a few things to consider, namely rod length, line, lure, taper, action and most importantly the style of fishing that you're doing, all things that you want to look at. I'm fishing a small bass stream in southeast Queensland and as you can see from the trees around me most of the banks have a lot of overhead cover. As a result, I don't want a rod that's too long. A rod anywhere from six foot four to six foot eight is the longest that I would use. The line that I use is eight pound PE with a 10 pound leader, while my lure of choice is a soft plastic rigged on a 1 16th ounce jig head. Now the style of fishing that I'm doing involves throwing this guy tight to the edge and rolling it back to the boat. And as you would expect with most Aussie bass, the hits are pretty hard and they come close to cover. Subsequently, you need to muscle those fish out. So the question is, which rod did I use for this style of fishing? It was a six foot six, light to medium light, fast action spin rod. It gives me the finesse to throw the light baits, yet also has the power to muscle those fish away from cover. So there we are, a brief rundown on how to choose the right rod for you. Whether it's chasing squid in Victoria, Jewfish in WA, or Barramundi in the Northern Territory. To find out more about our rods, of course, check them out on our website. You'll find our spec tables, which will give you that all important information that you need to help you find the right rod for you.